I have found it fascinating to realize all that happened in his suffering and afflictions in Gethsemane and what it represented. If you go to verse 11, uh, it says, He'll go forth suffering pains and afflictions and temptations of every kind. Even though he didn't commit any sins, he'll feel our pains, our afflictions, and our temptations of every kind. Towards the end of the verse, he will take upon him the pains and the sicknesses of his people. Whoa. My sickness, my illness, he's felt that. And I have felt that he has felt it as he has blessed me with health and, and dealing with some issues. Verse 12, he will take upon him death that he may loose the bands of death. He'll take upon him their infirmities that he may know how to succor them according to their infirmities. And then verse 13, that he would take upon him the sins of his people that he might blot out their transgressions. All that can go wrong, all that is wrong, all that is unfair, health challenges, hurts, sorrows, sicknesses, death, sin. He carried it all. Thanks be to God for the gift of his atoning son. President Pace, I have loved hearing you. I remember you, last August, I think, or May, when you talked about your experience with cancer and your testimony of the Savior's Atonement. I treasured that. Mm, thank you. And I, I, I think I, one of the things I get to study as a social scientist is that relationship of mother-baby, mm -hmm. the bond. We've talked a little bit about this before, Ben, but it's a pretty remarkable bond that is very powerful in shaping the brain's development of that infant and their body and health. And one of the things that happens in it is we'll say this eye to eye, body to body, a synchrony happens. She matches the infant's internal emotional state by, right? So if a baby's sad, what do you do? You, right, have a yeah. sad face. <laughs> and then what she does is she up, what we call up regulates it. She takes it from sorrow or if it's even happy to a happier place but she matches it. And in the power of that synchrony, we now know development cannot happen. Healthy development cannot happen outside of relationship. And so when we talk about the atonement, this relationship, a covenant relationship he's established with us to enable our growth and development, that we can come to see things differently and feel things differently and know things differently, that our pain, he helps us relate to it differently gives us strength to endure it or strength to understand it or in his mercy to love where we might have, we might have not been able to love and forgive. And it's, he matches our feeling and then brings us out of it to a, to a redeemed place. That's, that's how intimate that atonement, that suffering is in our behalf. Mm -hmm.